I guess the biggest part for me about creating this um, vision mapping is that it's duplicatable for you guys to recreate in your team and with your leaders. So I'm, keep, I'm keeping everything very simple and you can go really full on into this type of um, training and the same when you've got your people around you, you can really go deep into stuff and that's a great thing to do one-on-one -on -one and maybe with a few of you. Um, so it's just something that I'd love to see you do what you learned today. I'd love to see you recreate that through your team. Um, I think that would be a really powerful thing or anyone new that you have joined. I think that's a really good thing. So Sunny, just so you know, and Scylla, so you know, I'm recording this and you'll yep. have this mm -hmm. available to you. I've, I'm learning to find the platform and what I can and where I can share that. At the moment, it's just being via USB, but I think I can Dropbox it. No worries. If you know any other platforms for sharing big files, let me know. Um, could be something. Do you like, happen to record the one last Thursday? I've recorded a lot of them, and I may have forgotten the last Thursday one. I think. I, yeah, I'll go and have a look at my recordings, and what I need to do is some research on. Um, where I can post them up. So that's... Yeah, because I would love last Thursday's one. It was, yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> and yeah. sometimes I do really good ones and I don't record. I'm like, don't, I'm really annoyed. Anyway, just hey, Ra, have you tried Amazon S3? Never. Because there you can upload um, stuff like files, videos and audio recordings and things like that. Amazon S3. Yeah. Three. M Amazon S3, yeah. Okay, cool. And do, like do you know that actually um, Google, there's Google Hangouts for free too, where you can actually record the videos too and then you can unlist them so they're sort of private and you can share, um, you can copy the link and send it directly to people. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, there you go, Google Hangouts. Okay, cool. All right. Yeah, I've just brought those two things up, so that's great. Thank you. Yeah, Welcome. awesome. Thanks. And this is the thing, it's like sometimes I don't, yeah, I don't really know where to go for all this stuff, so it's pretty pretty good to um, be in, you know, with all you girls and we're all sharing that information. I love it. Now, what we'll get down to is vision mapping. So, I wanted, to bring, I wanted to do this topic because I want to get really, really clear on what our personal visions and dreams are. And so we're map, brainstorming and mapping out a plan to achieve those and you'll design your own individual timeline with action steps for you to see your visions into reality. So to really live those dreams you have and in that see and feel what living in abundance could really look like for you. So we get right into that today. And I'd love for you to make sure you've got felt pens, some writing pens, some um, A4 lined paper, some A3 paper, um, anything you've got to just write down, um, yeah, write down some information. So that's, yeah. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off. For those of you that can see my screen, I'm using these two books for today. So one of them is called Money and Mindfulness, Living in Abundance. It's by a lady called Lisa Messenger. And she's been super inspiring for me the last little while. Got a um, book on a flight heading down to Sydney where I came to see Scylla and run some meetings and um, super cool book. She has a magazine called The Collective. She's an Australian lass, um, really powerful social entre entrepreneur, really, really cool. So that's one book that I'm going to use today. And the other one is this one by Marcella von Harting. And you spell her name, M-A-R-C-E-L-L-A-V-O-N-N, Harting, H-A-R-T-I-N-G. And, and the book is called The Harting Training System. It's very cheap online. If you just Google her, you can come up with her. I just had a look at her page before. Really awesome. It's MarcellaVonHarting.com. She's a Royal Crown Diamond in Young Living and has been in Young Living for... Um, God, what did she say on there? 18 years or something, long, long time. So, Jan, um, just be one sec. I'm just going to mute myself.
Yeah, sorry guys, I just had to unmute and um, mute and chat to my husband, my partner. God, husband, blah. Um, so, Harding Training System, um, I'm going to read the first section out of that because it's really, really powerful. So, what we're going to do, part one, is dreams and goals. And um, we're going to spend about 10 minutes on this. So, you're going to have some A4 lined paper there. And we're going to do what's called a dream stream. So Sunny's done this before. And Sunny, all I want you to do is add to yours. See what's already there and then just keep adding to it, okay? Now you can add to this. You can get okay. up to 100. You know, keep going. What I want you to do is think about it like it's Christmas, okay? So I'm going to read you something out of um, Marcella's book. Now, I want you to capture in writing. Get ready to write and capture in writing what flows in response to the following question. So I'm going to ask them with a little, with a few seconds space, okay? And remember that you can dream. If you had all the money that you ever needed, what would you be doing with life right now? You know, that's a really, really big one to really think of. If you had all the money that you ever needed, what would you be doing with your life right now? And I want you to write a few key things. So while you're writing those down, I'm just going to um, find this cool little quote that I love. And really it comes back to this. this. The goal isn't money, but the goal is living life on your terms. So you've got to really remember that, you know, money does create ease, but what would you be doing if, like, why do we let it limit us? You know, what would you be doing if, it was just there. It was just a resource you had, you know, like all the other resources you had. What would you be doing with your life? So here's some more questions. When you daydream, what do you see yourself doing? So just listing them like, boom, just listing them like it's Christmas list, right? When you daydream, what do you see yourself doing? You can point format, you can write a sentence, you can draw a picture. What does your heart long for? What do you desire? And what would you love to do? So what would you love to accomplish? What would you do if you were guaranteed success? I love this one. What would you do if you were guaranteed success? And maybe you've already written it. But if there's something more, then write it down. And this one I love. Where would you go? If you could go anywhere in the world, where would you go? Start listing some places. So where would you go if you could go anywhere in the world? Now, here's a good one. Who would you go there with? And what clothes would you wear? You know, what, would you, what food would you eat? What's most important to you in your life right now? It's another big one. So, you know, 
thinking, really thinking about that. If you go anywhere in the world, who would you go there with? What clothes would you wear? What would you doing? be doing? I had someone um, write down, go and see Oprah Winfrey. Yeah, I really wanted to. And um, she's actually coming to um, Brisbane this month, I think, or January. And um, so the girl has, yeah, after we left that event, she went home and booked her tickets. And so one of her dreams is that's her reality now. So another big one. So what, yeah, so what's most important to you in your life right now? And I know for most of you it would be children. I know that Francesca, it's not you, but the other women definitely is. Me um, too. Yeah, and you? Yeah. I just I didn't know if you had children. You have children? Yep. Yeah. Two of them. Two kids. <laughs> there we go. See, there's uh, the biggest things in our life is looking after them, you know. Um, now, here's, here's a big one. What would you keep in your life and what would you let go? So why don't you write down some things that you'd let go that are holding you back? And who would you meet if you could meet anyone in the world? I mean, that's, that's really a big one that, that came in before. But who would you meet? That is the funniest bird. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> What's that to say? I know, it sure does. It's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, cool. And they're just a, you know, keep writing. So write write it from a place of excitement. I want you to now sit up, put your shoulders back, put a smile on your face, and pretend you're a little kid and it's Christmas. Right? Just see if there's anything else that comes and you sit. Move and shut your eyes for a minute. Just have a think. And Oprah really, you know, the quote that's up on your screen is dream the highest, grandest vision of your life because you come what you become what you believe. So that was from Oprah. So dream the highest, grandest vision of your life because you come, become what you believe. So you guys now, now you have a stream of consciousness, a list. Read over it and write a list of dreams, desires, toys, homes, money, vacation, clothes, contributions, what you chose to have in your lifetime. I invite you to really use your imagination and write a list of at least 100 more. Remember, you're a child again and it's Christmas and anything is possible. So I get that list and I wrote it, you know, I put it next to my bed and um, it's a really powerful thing. So a thing that Marcella, I'm reading from her book, by the way, right now, when she, um, what she's written in here is for me, when I first wrote my goals down on paper, I was really stretched to even come up with anything. So my husband and I were in a time management course and we wrote what we thought were some pretty outrageous things. And I have to tell you, within the first 10 years of our married life, we accomplished everything we wrote. So do not have any fear when you write stuff down. You just write it. Okay, just write it down. It's really important. You get it down. Nothing holds you back. Because you can totally have that. It's just about getting clear. So in, um, so here we're going to do another another exercise. So, have you guys have you all finished with that? So you need some more time. All good. Or are you? Because I can't see you. Sounds like I can't really gauge if you're finished or not. But you can continue that at any time, yeah? 
So really People another, are. yeah, all good. Okay. Hey, so another quote that was out of this, yeah, Lisa Messenger's book, she's written in here. When you undervalue what you do, the world will undervalue who you are. And so, you know, part of this for me is about dreaming big and really what's the, there's a little saying that's like fake it till you make it. It's not really like that, but it's kind of like really just believe that you're in it. Have faith that you're already there. You know, you're this close. And we are all this close. We're now in this vehicle that can actually take us there, which is like unbelievably, like totally amazing when you actually really feel it starting to happen, which is what I'm in now. It's like, oh my God. And I posted up on Love Community today. There's um, two point two minutes, a bit over two minute video from um, Melissa Pepping that, it brought tears to my eyes. It was just the way that she connected and the way she explained, you know, what, what, you know, her life has been and what, what Young Living has been for her. She's a um, crown diamond in Young Living. Worthwhile going and watching. It's up on Love Community. It's two minutes. I really recommend. So what I want you to do is take a second bit of paper and write down what, or further research, just, just get another spot where you can write down further research. And number one thing I want you to do when we finish is go and look at that video, okay? It's on her website and Melissa Pepping's website. And um, she, yeah, it's the first thing you see when you see it. And I post it up on the community page. Really go and check that out. You send me a message if you, um, for what you think of it. Because it really, it hit home to me. It was so heartfelt and really real and yeah powerful woman so the next stage i want you guys to do is um she was something yeah there was something i wanted to share with you with this dreaming big i had a woman today send me a message so this is this is why i'm so um this is the freaking most powerful thing what i'm doing with you guys is really powerful okay i've had a lot of manifesting in the last i've been listening to abraham for the last Oh, six years and I've like this house is what I dreamed up house on the beach like it's phenomenal all the stuff that's happened in my life is really what I've been writing for years so you got to get clear that if you write it down it does come into fruition and it's really really powerful so and another lady messaged me this morning and I get these periodically it's super cool and she she um Look, I'll read it to you because it was so phenomenal what she had. And it was, it was just a really, um, yeah, a really, her name's Kimberly Ma. And she's in Young Living. She's a great, oh, she's a gold member in Young Living. I haven't talked to her for a year, maybe two years. And she sent me this message. It says, hello, beautiful friend. I have a story to share with you. I remember a series of conversations we had on the river about how you met your soulmate and partner. You told me you'd intentionally created a detailed list of exactly who he would be, down to the craziest details, and then the universe delivered him to you, and you had the, fear, the felt sense of oneness immediately. So over the past year, I've recorded our conversation so clearly, wishing that this would be my story as well. However, for some stupid reason, I allowed fear to keep me from writing this list. I don't know why, perhaps because I felt like being super specific would close doors rather than open them. That's a really key thing. It doesn't close doors, guys. It brings you closer. Yeah, really important point out of that. So after a year of meeting and dating, lots of nice but not him guys, I finally wrote the damn list, partially as an act of rebellion, and then I released it into the universe last week with no expectation. So I told her how I did this, right? I wrote the list, the clear, super clear man list, four pages. I folded it up, had this really powerful moment, meditation, put it in my hands, and I said, universe, I want to meet this man or no one else. And I put it under... You know, I just felt this really strong energy and I put it under my pillow and he's sitting over there. I put it under my pillow and, um, and just left it. I had no attachment to it, went out surfing. So when I got my son from school and went out dancing that night, six hours later, turned around on the dance floor and boom, there he was. And he's still in my life two and a half years later. So then yesterday, this is further on from Kim's. So then yesterday, oh my God, yesterday, a man very unexpectedly walked into my life and he is the list. I'm completely flawed and flooded and giddy. And he is, it's him. 
It's the guy that I wrote down and I'm freaking out and jumping with joy all the same time. It makes absolutely no sense. At the same time, it makes perfect sense. This is rocking me to my very core and every cell of my being is screaming right now. My dear, bless you for sharing your story and your wisdom. You're a powerful manifesto and you inspired me. I'm so grateful that you came into my life. So that is the power of this stuff, right? That's a beautiful message. And I get them every now and then and just go far out. I've got to keep telling people the story of how to create. It's really powerful. So do you guys get that? Yeah? That's exactly what I did. <laughs> awesome Scylla that's it and Scylla's got the awesomest man he's so cute and he's you know they've got four cutest kids together it's a really really powerful relationship so cool Scylla that's really good now on that yeah so get clear right do you guys really get that it's really important so what I want you to do now is circle the top three to five things from your list that you want to have occur in the next one year, okay? So really, yeah, just circle the top three to five. If I had Dreamcatcher to hand you the oil, I would put it on you right now. <laughs> I don't have it. Can't pass it through the screen, but if you... Um, have some dream catcher, really powerful oil to, to use when you're doing this. So, do you circle the top three to five, everyone? Yep. I'm gonna write your list. Just dream, Christmas list. I'm just passing a piece of paper to my partner. Um, got a pen? Yep. So next thing, guys, we're going to spend five minutes and we're going to do the Royal Crown Diamond exercise. And this is out of Melissa Von Harding's book, okay? And it's, yeah, this is, an, this, I would be using Envision oil with this, just so you know, Envision, really powerful oil. So. Let's have a look at this. So I want you to grab a new piece of lined paper because you're actually going to write some real clear stuff. So imagine I'm a genie and I've waved a magic wand. You are already a very successful young living diamond. So a young living diamond earns about anywhere between 100 um, and 250 or upwards thousand a month. Sorry, 110, yeah, that's right. No, 110, 100,000, is that right? 110, 100,000. No, 110,000. Yeah, that's right. My, brain, my brain's not working. 110 and 250,000 a month. Yeah, that's right. So that's the type of income, okay? Imagine, like, that's pretty insane type of money, 110,000 a month at a bare minimum for Royal Crown Diamond. Pretty damn awesome. Like, you'd be sitting pretty, wouldn't you? So I want you to imagine that you're already a very successful Young Living Diamond, and this is totally futuristic. It just brings it closer to you, so I want you to really have a go at this. So right now, what would be new and different in your life? Write it down starting with I am or I have, okay? What would be new or different in your life? I'm going to give you a minute to do that. So you've, you've earned 110 to 250,000. You've got that sitting pretty in your bank. What would be new and different right now? So what would be new for you if you had that amount of money? you know, or the lifestyle. OK, 
Okay. So do you guys need more time? No. Cool. No. No. Good. So now it's five years from there. Okay, so five years from now and you've got diamonds in your organization. So you've got other people like you that have reached that rank in your organization. So that is like their earning, like your income is two or three times what it was before. So what's new and different in your life now? So you're looking at like 300,000 a month. What's new or different? Yeah, cool. So next one is now it's 10 years from there and what's new and different. So I just want you to write down if there's anything new and different 10 years from when you go Royal Crown Diamond. Okay. Thinking like you've just like gotten to this really like, wow, 10 years on, relax. You've got, you know, a few hundred grand a month coming in, maybe more, half a million dollars a month coming in. What, what, are, you, what are you doing? You know, what, what is it I am and I have? What's new? What's different? So once you've done that, a goal setting creates a compelling future and the person it will take to achieve all you choose is you. So this is, you know, goals are, there's a little, um, yeah, I guess something that Marcelo says in here, which is an interesting thing. Consider an aeroplane, she says. What factors get it from the airport where it takes off to the airport where it lands? Flight plan, a pilot, and all the little specifications. So when a plane takes off on autopilot, it has a set course and corrects itself right before it lands. So think about now taking off without having any navigational instruments on a plane. Yeah? Over distance, being off by two degrees would result in a much different destination than the one you would have intended. So goals are that concrete way to self-correct and land in the correct place, okay? They're like the autopilot. They're, they're, you are mapping and charting your course. And yes, we could go into like the universe is, you know, God's already got a plan for me or the universe already got a plan and I'm just here being and living it out. But it, it's actually more powerful than that. You actually get to create with that and you won't get... Um, a direction that's clear off like that that's not really off your path like if you're really in a clear space you'll be directed exactly on the right path so really powerful morning and night to have this this next to you you know add to it change it scrabble stuff out and write new things you know or just keep adding really really cool you know i had one that i wrote five years ago and i've ticked off a lot of it it's pretty damn cool so you know you've got to really um yeah, they're such, they're such a cool thing. Make sure you date it, by the way, because it's really cool to look back. Um, now, we're going to go into gratitude. So one powerful way to really bring this into fruition is having gratitude. So morning and night, super important. So when you wake up, right, waking up to the quality of your life, Wake up every morning filled with such a profound gratitude for the abundance in your life, you know, that it brings tears of joy to your eyes. So does it sound good? Can you imagine your gratitude? Can you feel your grateful or your thankfulness? Where can you find or what can you find in your life to be grateful about? So the biggest thing I started doing before I did any of this manifestation stuff was to be grateful. And I, I read it um, 
in a book I had, a gratitude journal, and morning and night, at least five things that I'm grateful for. And it's been, it's really powerful. And I do it sometimes, you know, I do it with my partner and sometimes, you know, sometimes your partners don't want to do it. Sometimes you just do it yourself. So morning and night, I do it every day. I've been doing it for years and years. Waking up, first thing I think of, what am I grateful for? So I want you to list five things or just say them in your head. You can write them down if you want. You can just have them in your head. I want you to. the five things you're grateful for like really feel grateful what I want you to do for morning and night I'll wait till you guys are finished What I want you to do is write a sticky note. Grab a sticky note, put on your bed, put it, put it right on the sticky note, gratitude times five and stick it by your bed. So that every morning when you get up, you see it and start training yourself. Okay. Because if you're grateful for what you already have in your life, then it will only bring more to you, yeah? And I really believe that. Okay. Another thing to have by your bed folded up is your Royal Crown Diamond Vision Step. So the things you just wrote, have them folded up next to your bed or tucked in your pillowcase, sleeping with them, being with them. You can look back in five years, in 10 years, however long you choose to have it take for you and look back at that and go, far out, I totally created it, yeah? Really powerful. So so what we're going to do now is goals and dreams, action steps. So actually action those dreams so that we can really, yeah, actually get them in powerful creation modes so actually get them possible so just by you writing them down you've already put them out there in the universe and they've got closer to you right um so what you really want to do now is starting to we're going to start to have one so we're going to take dream number one okay and we're going to, ha- I want you to brainstorm, write it down, put a circle around it in the center of a piece of paper. I want you to brainstorm all the, pr- all the steps that would need to happen and all the things that would need to happen for that to actually be real. So just the first, just number one, just dream number one, or one of the five, one of the three or five, and brainstorm it. I want you to really be serious about it. <coughs> and then we're going to number them, okay? So just brains chucking them out there, just writing them down. What would it take? What are the, you know, what would it take? When you really get clear and specific with those, it'll be achievable. So I really like a quote from Abraham that says, make a decision of what you want. Give your attention there. Find the feeling place of it and you're there instantly. So there's no reason for you to suffer or struggle your way through anything. 
So I'm going to get you guys to do a little meditation in a minute. So you're just looking at now what it would take to make this happen and breaking it down into little small steps, easily actionable steps. Just brainstorming those out. I want you guys to come on and let me know when you've done. Just keep getting specific, real specific. How would, what would it take for that to be real? And it might be that you need some money, right? So that's cool. You need need 5,000 or I need 10,000 or I need 100 bucks. Would it, you know, you might need some money for that. So that's cool. So how are you going to get that money? A bit of a brainstorm on that. So some of these little brainstorms will lead into other little ones, okay? And just keep going there. You know, it could be doing a phone call to someone. It could be sending an email. It could be going and doing some research. And then come on when you're done. done okay cool great so the other two girls are still going cool what I want you to do while you're waiting is shutting your eyes now and go to that place, really imagining you are there. So shut your eyes. I want you girls to now do this as well. You can brainstorm some more later. But usually I would have an oil for this. So if you've got an oil in front of you, just grab one. Usually I put Bill do dream oil. But... um. If you don't have that, just anything you've got in front of you changes the frequency. So just take a drop of this oil and using your fingers, press some into your heart, in the nape of your neck and under your nose, your third eye. You can also imagine you're doing that. Like I totally, if I don't have my oils with me, I just totally imagine I'm doing that. Um, so pressing some on your heart, your nape of your neck, under your nose, the third eye, then the top of your head. Now shutting your eyes. I want you to imagine the feeling of what it would be like to have this thing in your life, number one, or have already achieved it or be achieving it, yeah? So what would it be like to have that, that creation and as a reality? Feel where you are. What does it look like? 
Is there a breeze on your face? What are the sounds there? Are you inside? Are you outside? What can you smell? Make it a real space for you. Who's around you? Or what is around you? I want you to take three really deep breaths into your belly in this place. Just breathing in that air that's around you, that air and the total energy of just being in it. Just breathing it in right down to your belly, really deep breaths. Really grounding, being there, being really present to what that is, just being in it. And when you go to sleep tonight, I want you to take out your dream stream list again. And with those top three to five you circled for the year, I want you to shut your eyes and really get real with what the feeling would be to have that in your life. You know, when I was doing this around the room, there were so many people that were just grinning when they were, when they were there. It's so beautiful. I love, love imagining the feeling of it. Just feel how good that is in your heart, yeah? Okay, so coming back now. Just, that's it. Coming back, hearing the sounds around you in the room or outside. Yep. Cool. Welcome back to the real world. <laughs> you just brought it a lot closer to you, yeah? really get that you bring it bring it much closer yeah and every time you imagine it it's just it's there it's there it brings it like so much closer right so much closer yeah so do that for your top five yeah okay so that's some homework cool I'm going to give you homeworks like school. <laughs> Same with your gratitude sticky note, right? You kind of do that too. It's two things. You can write them down if you want to remember. So I'm just I'm aware of the time. There's something where I really wanted to do with you guys. Now is coming back to your list, coming back to what's real, where you wrote down and brainstormed all of those things, all of those to do things. I want you to really number those. So let's have a look at, let's start from the one that's closest to actually having it happen. So working backwards, okay? So we're going to how, count how many there are. How many steps are there? How many main steps? Yeah, there'll be little like A, Bs and Cs off the main steps, but how many main steps are there? And I want you to number if there's 15 or if there's five or if there's 35, just use that number as numbering the one that's closest, it's backwards. It's a lot easier to number it from backwards. I found the numbering it from where you are right now and having a look at the first thing. So choose whichever way you want. I number mine backwards from like the most you know the thing closest to creating that ha to happen to all the way back to the first thing I've got to do. Or you can number it from the first thing you've got to do and all the way up to achieving it. So I'll give you about three minutes to do that right now. 
and just let or, or just let me know when you're done. Okay, so you've got another minute, guys. Just numbering them. If you need any help, you can totally ask me. Happy to, if you want to share what you've got going on there. And you can always, always give me a call as well. If you can't work it out, happy to walk, it, walk through with you. What, what, yeah. Hey. <laughs> I said I said look like that it look like you're done, yeah? Yes. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. So if you have, you know, another homework step is to take step two and three. I mean take dream two and three and do the same to it, right? But now you've actually got some physical reality. So if you want to even after this call, get into action and start, you know, put it in your diary. Okay, number one, I've got to make that first call, number two. And actually now start working your way through it. And what you'll find is all those steps that you've listed and you've got numbered and all that type of thing, what happens sometimes is you just jump a few of them. Yeah? Mm -hmm. What might look now like a really big complicated thing, like far out, look how much I have to do or whatever, but you will find if one of your things is a phone call, one of your things is an email, one of your things is um, communicating with another human being, it can be a very fast, um, yeah, kind of like a, a bit of a fast forward. So you'll be surprised at what can happen when you've got the intention, that's the goal, that's what you want, and that's when you, what you want to have happen. And then once you start doing it, it just, boom, it almost just happens. So it's just giving you some type of reality, bringing the dream where you can actually go, oh, I could, this could be real for me. That's all I have to do, yeah? So just take the first few steps and you'll, you may be surprised. Yeah, yeah? Cool. <laughs> yeah. So next one is we're going to do a little bit of gifts back. So we've got four minutes left. And I want to just read something. So your wish is your command, yeah? So where you were um, doing that um, meditation, you're bringing it closer to you. And I know that Scylla's really aware of this too, but bringing it really close to you energetically, the feelings and DNA all resonate at the same time. And once you set that and you get that feeling and you're embodying it, boom. You know, that's what Martini. that's what all the big guys do. They just dream it and then it's real for them, yeah? So really, really powerful to spend some time doing that, especially morning and night. They're like the really clear times to do it. So we've got another one more thing we'll do for a couple of minutes. I want you to think about and really acknowledge a beautiful way to say thank you to yourself and your time and effort in Young Living and the work you do is to do a gift list. 
yeah? And I did this for myself when I had my nutrition business, but I also started doing it when I got into Young Living. And I know Sunny and I have done this before, so it can be really relatable to the dream stream, stream list or it can be things like getting a cleaner for two hours a week. So what I want you to do, take a new piece of paper, an A4 line paper or just A4 paper, and I want you to list down the side some earning amounts. Okay, so these are your commission amounts that you earn. This is your actual income per month. Okay, you can base it on Young Living or you can base it on um, your current business, including Young Living. So including it all together, what are you earning per month? And I want you to think about the gifts that you're going to give back to yourself and your community. Yeah? And I've done this right up until 250000 yeah? Like 250,000 a month earnings. So fifty dollars I normally do. Then a hundred. Next line two hundred. Then I did two fifty. Then I do five hundred. Then I do seven fifty. Then I do a thousand. Then I do twelve fifty. Then I do fifteen hundred. And seventeen fifty. Then two thousand. This is how much earnings a month, right? Then keeping going up. 2,000, then 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 10,000, 15,000. Just keep all the way up, list it right down the page, yeah? Going up in kind of, um, what do you call it, like um, increasing increments. And you can finish that off just so, because we've only got one more minute of the call. But um, I want you to first, for the first $50, $100 and $200, I want you to write down what gifts back to yourself that you'd like to do. Some people go, oh, I want a cleaner for an hour. You know, once I make 300 bucks, I want to pay $50 for a cleaner. Or I want to go and have a facial. Or I want to go and give 30 bucks to that homeless guy that sits on the corner of the street, you know. Or I want to take my my best friend who's just in a marriage separation i want to take her out for dinner and that's the 500 hundred dollar gift i want you to think of some really powerful things that for you are really heartfelt and really mean something yeah and so that's that's something i'm going to leave you with so if you guys <clears throat> writing down the 50 and the 100 and 250 and um, we want to get it that they really want to mean something to you, okay? Really powerful gifts back to you, back to your community. And it could be like taking my, my child or taking my children to Africa, you know, when you, when you do 2,000 or it could be um, yeah, buying an apartment. It could be getting a new house. It could be, you know, the gifts to yourself that you want to receive and they can be really... Um, pulled out of your dream stream list. Okay? Yeah. So, yeah. So, I'm going to leave you guys with that. I'm going to let you keep going. Thank you so much for coming on. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. If there's any questions you have or any further chats you want to have, feel free to give me a call. Happy to run through, you know, if you want to share your dreams and goals with me and really, you know, that powerfully creating, then it's happy to work through it with you, okay? And ask your team leader. They do it with you too. But thanks, guys. Any questions? Thanks, Ra. Nope. Okay, good. You got your homework. Yeah? <laughs> I have one question. Yep, go. Um, Ra, just with the recording of it, because just while we were doing it, I've been doing my finances, unfortunately, which I just had to do. Yep. And um, Christy came to the door and she's really interested in hearing it again. So you definitely recorded it. Yep, I did. Um, yep. Wondering how you'll be sharing that. And yeah. Because I can definitely have a copy. That's yeah. right. So I'm going to go and do some research now. And as soon as I find it, I'll let you know, Sunny. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So that was absolutely awesome. That was fantastic, Matt. Okay, good. Um, I didn't, so I'll definitely be interested in that. Yeah. Okay, wicked. Great. All right, I'll let you know. And it's good to go back over that. You know, even if you've got your stuff there, it's good. Yeah. Back yeah, cool. All right. Yeah, no, that was really, really thorough too. Oh, good. Awesome. Okay. Yeah, awesome. All right, take care. Lots of love. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Bye.